Okay, forget $20 because here comes 80% higher price target and this is just the start for SoFi. So as we get more deeper into the dip, this stock is looking better and better. The last 10 dips that we had for sure made this stock a lot more affordable and while no one has a crystal ball to predict the future, but it looks like the likelihood of this stock performing well for us is gaining popularity. So we know that Citi came out and initiated a buy rating on this stock for $20 price target, which I said in my previous video was not a big deal and was very conservative. As I see the stock's fair value much higher than $20, but did you know that another analyst who has been covering the stock for a while came out yesterday and has given an updated price target for SoFi. So let's discuss that more in this video. And if you enjoy content like this, which I'm sure you will, because again, I'm sharing some amazing information in this video as well, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing. And for one-on-one -on -one conversations, join our Patreon and Discord. Links are in the description below. Okay, so let me start with the juicy part first. So take a look here. So we know that we have two more analysts covering the SoFi stock now. Previously, we had seven analysts. Right here, I'm gonna show you. Right here, we have about seven analysts and now we have nine analysts covering the stock. So we have two more analysts, those who have joined so far stock in the coverage. Again, analyst recommendation or the price target, I really don't rely on that much, but what I look for is their research because that tells me few things that of course I may have missed. And an average median price target for SoFi is $23.75 for the next 12 months. Again, that's almost 60% high where the stock is right now. So if you were to buy this stock today, you could make 60% return in one year, beating all the indices to dust. This is interesting, but not only that, not a single analyst has a sell rating on this stock. Seven has a buy, two has a hold, and zero has a sell, which is of course a very strong rating for a new company. Now let me share the price target from this analyst. Along with that, we will compare some previous price targets. So this is the price target or this is the analyst report from before. We had about seven out of seven analysts covering this stock and Jefferies was on top right here and they have a price target of about $24, which was given on November 8th, 2021. They came back. Now, if you see over here, we have nine analysts covering the stock. And of course, Jefferies came back and they initiated a buy, of course, or maintained a buy and a price target of $26. And this was updated on 1220, which was yesterday. So you see, these guys are coming in and they are looking at the value of the stock and what SoFi is delivering. And I told you, the numbers in SoFi looks damn amazing. And we have seen it all. I have done videos on the numbers of the app download and what they are looking in terms of the members and how many products they have. They ETFs are doing well, giving 24% return and a median return of 16%. That's very exciting for a company. Along with that, if you see over here, Morgan Stanley, of course, maintains a rating of about $24 before they had $25, but they came back and they said $24, but wait, till maybe a week or two week more, and you will see Morgan Stanley come back and update their rating to maybe $26. So before we used to see some 1650 over here, but if you notice over here, we have no 1650. The average we have over here is about $2022, and that's why the median price they're saying is going to be 2375, which is eight out of nine. They're not counting City yet because City, I don't see it in here. They will include City once they provide the full uh, report on, on SoFi, and I feel that the median will go up because there is 119 over here. Okay, so this is all very exciting and very interesting. But how good does this compare to the industry? Well, this is where things get really interesting and I'm actually covering FinTech as an industry in my upcoming videos because I feel we can make some gains in this sector in 2022. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel if these kind of topic interest you and join our Patreon and Discord for more deeper conversations. Okay, so let's talk about the competitor Upstart and take a look at the analyst price target for Upstart. And you will be surprised to see that the same analyst have the research done on Upstart as well, which make things exciting for us investors so we can compare the thought process. So this is a price target of Upstart and you can see they have about 12 analysts covering Upstart and we know that Upstart has gained almost 700% last year before tumbling down. So again, if you see over here, all the price target that you see over here for Upstart, of course, ranges from all the way from 390, which is of course amazing, to 175. The median price target for Upstart is about $300, which is of course amazing where the stock is sitting right now. And there is an analyst who started covering Upstart as well, and they gave Upstart today, actually the rating came out of about $300 price target for the next 12 months. And next 12 months means from where we are right now till next year. 
All the fintechs are doing amazing and we have a great potential for 2022 to make it really profitable in this sector. And that's why you see all these analysts, they're coming out and they're giving these lofty price target because they know that these companies will do amazing. So you see here, same people, those who are covering SoFi are covering Upstart and they are revising their price target on Upstart because Jefferies actually had a lower price target in back in November and they came back and they actually upped their price target over here, not by much, but a little bit. Along with that, Morgan Stanley also holds about uh, 200 and then Piper Sandler, 300 price target. These are all good analysts and good coverage. I have seen some of their research and they're talking about some amazing stuff for these fintechs, which is going to happen in 2022. So this is not alone. I feel that we have Lending Club, which is also an amazing company, which actually I've included Lending Club as one of the top stock for 2022, because I see some amazing gains happening in Lending Club as well. All these fintechs, Upstart, SoFi, Lending Club, all these fintechs, PayPal, Square, these are all the leaders, of course, PayPal and Square. All these companies are going to do wonderful in 2022. Because again, believe it or not, you may not feel it right now, but from what I'm seeing from the data and from the stats, people are putting money behind these kind of companies because they see a great potential in 2022. When things will reopen, and right now, I know it's looking hard and bleak where we are right now, sitting with the number of cases going up, things shutting down, but trust me, there is light at the end of the tunnel and we could see the reopening coming sooner than expected. And then all these companies will do really Really good with upspending. I was actually reading an article today in Wall Street Journal where they were saying the saving rate for US population is highest. People are saving money like crazy because all the holiday plans are being canceled. People are traveling less because of the fear of Omicron. So we are seeing a lot of this activity actually helping up the savings of folks. And when the reopening happens, they are going to be kind of have a COVID fatigue where they will go out and spend a lot of money, which is going to be amazing for companies like SoFi, companies like PayPal, Square, Upstart, Lending Club, and so far, especially because of the student loan that is being ended at the end of January, which is a great, great revenue for SoFi. They have already upped the estimate for 2021. In my opinion, they are going to do well over $1.4 billion. That's the current revenue for 2022, but I think they will do a lot more than $1.4 billion in 2022. Again, an exciting stuff for the sector and also again, exciting for us investors. Okay, so it won't be fair for me to keep talking about the stock and not mention any risk involved with the stock or the industry as a whole. And that is what I'll cover in my next videos. Otherwise, this video is going to be like 45 minutes long. But I'll say this, the price where we are sitting right now is damn exciting and some exciting stuff is not too far. All these price target, all these research, it doesn't mean anything unless you believe and have a conviction on the stock. So make sure you do your DD, make sure you understand what we are saying here. This video, make it a part of your research, but not the sole decision on buying or selling any stock. Forget so far, but any stock. I put these videos together because it excites me when I do this research and I see it, what's coming or what the future holds for these fintechs and these companies. That's why I make these videos. So thank you for joining me. Hope I was able to provide you some value. And in a follow up video, we'll look at fintech as a whole and where we are headed. A pleasure to share all this with you and I'll link my top four stocks for 2022 video here. Do check it out if you haven't. Until next time, you all have a sparkling day.